I was really excited to try out Bluey the video game with my family and I got us all together and I forgot that this game unfortunately was published and created by Outright Games which usually has lots of popular IPs that they like to create the video games for it, which turn out to be lackluster and mediocre experiences and unfortunately Bluey the video game is exactly that. In this game, you get to choose, of course, as one of the healers. You can be Chili, Bandit, Bingo, or, of course, naturally, Bluey. And you get to go out on adventures around, well, basically their home and a few other various places. You get to meet a cast of characters, which I am happy to report that at least the characters were voice acted from the actual characters from the TV show. That's always a plus. And you basically have to uncover uh, pieces of the missing map that each one of Bandit and his brothers have to go find a secret, special, valuable treasure. This is the premise of the game, and it takes less than an hour to finish. Which normally wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing, provided there's enough extra activities outside of the campaign, and also that the game itself is reasonably priced. But this is a $40 video game. Again, Outright Games likes to overcharge on these things, probably due to the licensing they have to even create it, but still, $40 to finish a game in an hour, guys. That is abysmal. When it comes to the core gameplay, it is definitely children-esque, where you just basically go and search for an item and then you got to get to said item or person. And you'll do that basically by running, jumping, and occasionally pulling on objects to make it so you can actually get to said object. And that's basically all you do in this game. Now, you'll be able to unlock some mini-games as you go along in the story. Things like Keepy Uppy and The Floor is Lava. But these mini-games aren't very fun, especially in the campaign. And to be honest, they're not even that great to play in the multiplayer aspect, unfortunately. The best thing, in my opinion, about this game is running around during your free time and collecting the stickers. Now, they're not actually stickers, but rather objects that you'll find scattered throughout all of the levels of the game. These stickers, when you collect enough, will unlock a hat, and you can have a fabulous hat collection that you can dress up your favorite Bluey character as, and you know what? I like that. It was fun going around doing that part of the game, because if I'm being completely honest, the story didn't grip me like traditional Bluey episodes do. It was way too short of a campaign, if you can even call it that. The multiplayer aspects wasn't even that fun, and all of us got bored. My son only cared to watch this for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then he was off doing his own thing. And even my wife said this wasn't a very fun experience. So none of us had nearly as good of a time as we were hoping to with this video game. And don't get me wrong, I really wanted to. I love Bluey, I love the show, my whole family loves the show. So take it from a guy that is a big Bluey fan, I really am. I think it's a great TV show, it just didn't translate over to the video game side of things, unfortunately. And I think a lot of the reasons why that is, is because there are just some issues within the video game, such as occasional bugs and glitches. Sometimes the characters' animations look really stiff and it's almost choppy. Plus, like I said, none of the gameplay tried to mix things up enough to make it interesting. It was all very simple. And even for a child to be playing this game, I mean, there are so many other games intended for children, played by children, that are more complex and fun and varying and force them to use their brains so they can learn and grow. And Bluey, of all things, just doesn't do any of that. So it should come as no surprise and with a heavy heart that I can't feasibly recommend this game to Bluey fans, to children, to parents, to gamers, to anyone. It's just not a good enough experience. Maybe, maybe when the game inevitably goes on sale and you see it for 20 bucks, pick it up then. But even then, man, it's just a really difficult sell because even going around collecting all of the stickers, I spent about two hours total to 100% complete the game and it was a $40 video game and that to me is not a good thing. It's a, it's a really bad thing. And Bluey the video game is unfortunately just that. It's kind of a bad video game. It has a lot of things that you'll enjoy about Bluey. But at its core, the gameplay is just shallow, as shallow as this bathtub here. It just disappoints in almost every aspect. 
So there you have it guys, Bluey unfortunately became one of my most disappointing games of 2023. I really wanted to like it, I'm sorry to report that I didn't like it and I don't think it's a very good video game. Um, maybe next time if they choose to make another one, they can improve upon it because I'm certain there are ways, there's a lot of ways actually they can make this a better experience for both children and the parents alike. So I'll see you guys on the next one, I am Bradley Overrated Out Like a Trout. And uh, let's hope for a better Bluey game in the future. Take care.